Let resolution be your solution. And our next caller is Chris. Hi, Chris. We're talking about comedians that you like. Oh, well, it's not so much comedians I like. I went to see... Uh, well, my friend invited me to go and see Stuart Lee. Stuart Lee? Yes, yeah, Stuart Lee. Stuart Lee? Yeah. Why do you keep saying that? Anyway, we went to see Stuart Lee and I wasn't sure when to laugh. So I decided to go on YouTube to do some studying. So let me get this straight. Why, why were you scared of not laughing, uh, you know, spontaneously? Oh, well, I didn't know when to laugh and I didn't want to get it wrong because he'd tell us off. I see. You, th- you find that uh, Stuart Lee's quite a severe uh, critic of his audience or something like that. Yeah. So basically, right, I was laughing when he was laughing. And did it work? No, I still told us off. Okay, did you enjoy the concert anyway? No, not as much as I did Tim Vine last year. Well, props for that. And uh, waiting online is our next caller, and it's Jerry, Jerry the Joker. I wish great, mate. Uh, do you know what I was thinking? I, I wouldn't mind writing a joke for, um, Jerry, uh, for what's his name, Stuart Lee. Stuart Lee? Yes, um, you, I saw what you did there with the earlier caller. Now, that's a fella... Anyway, what I thought was, uh, I'd have to go to university, right, study uh, psychology, uh, ancient history, and the classics, right, just to be able to write a joke. But for counterbalance, I'd have to read the Daily Telegraph and the Sun. And did you decide to take on these courses? No, I couldn't stand the idea of reading the Sun for seven years. Well, that's an outstanding contribution there, Jerry, and thank you for your call. Kind of amusing that uh, Jerry should suggest that I considered uh, submitting a, a routine for uh, for Stuart Lee, but uh, I, uh, they say never meet your heroes, and I didn't want to get into a situation where we ended up arguing about exactly when he should take a sip of water from his glass. That could have ruined the whole thing for me. And to talk about his favorite comedians, here's Ron. Oh, well, I'll tell you so what I did, like, you know, back in the day, I had slapped Peggy Reeves and uh, Bob Mortimer. Uh, Reeves and Mortimer? Aye, that's right. I'll tell you one thing about that there uh, Stuart Lee, though. I think he's playing a character on stage. What makes you think that? Ah, well, he's sort of a lefty, isn't he, the character he plays. But I've heard on the grapevine that he owns a car. So you think owning a car makes him not left-wing? Aye, well, what's he going around shunning public transport for? Anyway, back to Reeves and Mortimer. This fella says on the line, like uh, Jim Davidson had said about them two, like that they was left wing in politics, which I don't know where he got that idea from. But uh, online, like on the comments section of one of the videos, this guy says they're uh, political. I thought to myself, there's a very good chance they're uh, both sides of the apolitical uh, spectrum. You think they're either side of the apolitical spectrum? Aye, that's what I think. Anyway, forget that, because I've no idea what that means anyway. But my favourite comedian, for obvious reasons, is Tommy Cooper. Ron, you never cease to amaze me. Thank you for your call. If you like this channel, like and subscribe our page. Share it with your friends. If you understand the underlying message here, which is about entertainment and fun, keep smiling, then continue to stay with us. I look forward to interacting with you in the future.